Explain why pure solids and pure liquids can be ignored while writing the value of the equilibrium constant. For example, we have this reaction. In this reaction, while writing the expression for Kc, we take into account concentration of NO2 raised to power 4 and concentration of O2 raised to power 1. We have ignored copper oxide as well as copper nitrate. Why is it so? Because while writing Kc, we do not write pure solids and pure liquids concentration. Why is it so? Because you know this concentration, this is actually molar concentration, molarity and that is equal to number of moles divided by volume and number of moles is proportional to mass per unit volume and that is density and you know density is an intensive property so for pure solids and pure liquid density remains same if volume decreases at the same time mass decreases so mass per unit volume remains same for pure solids and pure liquids so their concentration remains same remains constant that's why we ignore we do not write concentration of pure solid and pure liquid let us take one more example so see in this case ethyl acetate acetic acid and ethanol they are aqueous water is pure liquid so pure liquid is ignored while writing the expression for Kc. Expression for Kc is like this. We ignore pure liquid because in case of gaseous species or aqueous species mass vary in a given volume. If mass varies obviously their moles vary and if moles vary moles per unit volume increases or decreases and that's why they should appear by writing the expression for the value of Kc.